Hi everyone, my name is Tyler Soldin and my um, presentation is going to be on the Hunting Lodge and their crowd blend rosé for my unique or notable uh, marketing exercises, campaigns. So what is the Hunting Lodge? The Hunting Lodge is uh, a newer winery based in Auckland. It's actually not that far away from where my family's winery is, Soldin, it's in, in, in Kimu in Auckland. And they've only actually been around for a, a, a year or two. They bought the land off a winery called Matua that used to be there. They're a bigger brand in New Zealand. But they sold a few years ago and moved down south to Marlborough, which is where most of uh, the wine industry in New Zealand is nowadays. Um, so Hunting Lodge is quite a different winery. It doesn't really fit into the same area uh, or... or target market a lot of a lot of the other wineries in the area a lot of the other wineries like soldiers is family owned for many generations very old um quite traditional with everything and they've come along and they've sort of played on the fact that land's been there for 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 centuries rather than the fact that they've been there for only a year um, and their label shows that as well they've got all different pictures on their label if you look at the bottle there they're not actually it's not actually a traditional label as such. Uh, those sort of icons are uh, printed on the actual bottle, which is quite unique and quite cool. Definitely stands out and, uh, in a crowded marketplace. So a newer sort of winery, very huge and big on social media. Um, their marketing budget must be very large to be able to do the sort of things they do. So what are they actually doing that's catching my attention? So they've got this thing called a crowd blend rosé. And this is it's quite simple, really, is they've got a system where you sign up or register for the for the event and you pay your twenty five dollars and you get three bottles of rosé, three different rosés, which you decide to on your own. You can blend them up, fill out all these forms that you get and submit your submit your favorite blend, basically. What they say they'll do is they'll uh, crowdsource the favorite blend and make that wine up. Um, in reality, you'd think they'd have a wine ready, but we'll we'll move on from that. Um, yeah, so make that blend up, and they'll put a special label on it, unique label on it, which um, they'll pick a name from one of the contestants which are entering in, and everyone who participates gets their name on the back of the bottle, which is quite cool. I think they've limited it to 500 people, which is substantial, but still all reasonably exclusive for the for the price you're paying. So how are they sort of marketing this? Um, well, of course, they've got their mailing list uh, to all their local customers and, and or, or subscribers um, to any clubs they've got. Facebook, as I said, they're very big on. So they've got a huge social media following, more than what um, a lot of the wineries in the area do. I think they've got twice as much as soldiers do on social media, which is quite impressive, considering they've only been around a year. Um, radio as well, which is quite unusual, actually, for wineries in New Zealand. So yeah tv tv is something which is very interesting they've got on the national news you can see a post here they've posted on facebook and it's uh well the national news is what they've got on which is quite impressive um you, no matter how much you try it's very hard to get on the news um, but they've managed to find a way of course they've got their cellar door and restaurant and um local magazines and newspapers which go about they've got heaps of advertising um full pages uh, in those which definitely catch your attention so Overall, are they going to be successful about it? Well, it depends what their goals are. If their goal is to build brand awareness and get the image out there, they've definitely seemingly done that. I mean, being on the news and on the radio and everywhere on Facebook that you look is pretty good. You, you definitely recognise the hunting lodge now. Um, if their goal is to make a whole lot of money, now that's something which when it first came out I wasn't too sure about because $25 for the equivalent of, well, you get two and a half bottles of wine in the end basically, you're not going to make a huge amount of money. Their normal bottle of wine will sell for $25 to sort of $55 a bottle. So maybe short term you get a 500 people enrolling within a period of about a month, which is a reasonable amount. But overall, you'd think it would be more to build the build the brand image. But what do I think? Do I think it's worth it? Well, uh, I may have been one of the 500 who have, who have paid their $25 to get their wine. So we'll see how that one goes. Um, yeah, so that's it for me. If you have any questions, feel free to uh, post them and I'll get back to them sort of uh, throughout the week when I can. Thank you.